Hey guys, I'm Megan. I'm Wendy. And today we have partnered with Wet n Wild for a sponsored video, a full face Wet n Wild makeup. As you can see, I'm done. Ooh. Wendy's not. And our original plan for this was we'll do our makeup side by side and then tragedy struck. I broke my arm, everybody. <laughs> I broke my arm. I cannot turn my hand to do anything on my face. And I know it looks like, oh, she's just in a brace, guys. She had surgery. She has a major hardware in her arm, like, <laughs> and it's her right hand. So she's fairly useless in the, like, side-by-side -side makeup application <laughs> department. So I have a full face of Wet n Wild makeup. And as I do hers, I'll kind of talk through what I used on mine. And we'll list all the products I used below. But you're going to watch me do her makeup. So some of these products Wet n Wild sent us, and some of them were already in our collections. If you've been here for two seconds, you know that... I love Wet n Wild. A lot of my like go-to products are Wet n Wild, and so I was really excited to try a couple of new things. Mm -hmm. First thing, so we're gonna start with this primer water. This is like one of Megan's favorites everyday uses, right? Well, and I had never used the rose. Like I use the coconut, oh. and so I'm like, you know, I found one that I liked and mm -hmm. I just kept going for it. And then I used the rose for the first time this morning. Not this one, I had my own. And I love the scent. Oh. Um, and you like rose, right? I love rose. Smell that. Oh, that reminds me of something. I mean, roses, obviously, but okay. So, close your eyes. Here we go. Oh, hold on. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> okay, it's coming. Ready? Just give it a little spritz. Give it a little oh, spritz. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like roses. Mm. The scent is fabulous. Now, this is a primer spray. It's a setting spray, and it's a refreshing spray. So, it's three in one. Um, I use this for makeup. I use it to set my makeup. It's great. The next thing we're going to do, don't worry, you'll have some time for that to set because we have these Photo Focus Stick Foundations. Now, I had never used a stick foundation until like two weeks ago I tried them for the first time because I was afraid of them. Why? Because I don't know. It's different. Like, I, I didn't know what a solid foundation would look like on my skin. Well, you're right to say it looks really pretty. Thank you. It's and really kind of like seamless and flawless, I have Well, to say. I will say the formula of these... So the Photo Focus Liquid Foundation already existed, and the Photo Focus Concealer, which Wendy loves. I use it every day. The Photo Focus Foundations are available in 20 shades. So they sent us four to try. I am the color Soft Ivory. Oh. We're going to swatch all four of these. Are we going to do it like on my neck or I'm what? Gonna, I'm going to show you on my arm just to kind of give you an idea, of, and then let me know what you think. Okay. And then we can kind of start blending it on your face. Okay. So the lightest... Of the four, the, I tried to figure out like lightest to darkest by um, the numbers, but that doesn't seem to really actually add up. So I'm going to guess that porcelain is the lightest of the bunch. Um, and as you can see, I mean, even for me, like porcelain was too light. Um, although the nice thing about a stick foundation is you can kind of like, if you have more than one color, you can use them in different spots That's on your just face. Gonna say. We're going to try Soft Ivory, which is the color I use when I would say is the next color in the spectrum, blends right in. The next is Shell Ivory. Ooh. So here's what I would say is the difference. And I don't know if you can see this, but the Soft Ivory has a little more of a yellow undertone, which I like because it cancels out a lot of the redness on my face. The Shell Ivory has a little more of a pink undertone. Yeah. And the last is Classic Ivory which is again a yellow undertone, um, slightly darker you can't even really color. Them. I know, they're all, they're all in the same family. What I will say this one. All right, wanna go I classic think, ivory? Yeah. Okay, and you guys, Wet n Wild came out with a beauty sponge and this thing has been pre-dampened. It like pumps right up like, you know, what a good beauty sponge should yeah. do. So, um, I used it this morning, I loved it. So, if you've never used a stick foundation, you just, my advice would be start small because it's really hard to take it away. My first experience with the stick foundation, I used way too much. And then after that, I learned my lesson. Like, you can always add more, but don't go bananas your first time in. Okay. So, are you ready? I, your primer is set. Okay. All right. And we're just going to swipe it on. Feels a little weird. I know. And then. You just go in with the beauty sponge and just look at how seamlessly it blends out. I would 
would say the finish on this is like a satin finish. Like yeah, it's that's a good word. Yeah, it's oh. um, which I prefer. Like I don't, I don't like my foundation to be too dewy. So next up, we have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer, and Wendy uses the color light ivory. brightened we're concealed okay next up we have wet n wild photo focus banana powder and he loves a banana powder all right banana powder i'm just gonna get a little swirl it off in the lid now my powder strategy is to set down the center of the face and then whatever is left on the brush i use on the rest of the face so that things don't get too powdery. Look at that! Hey! I look alive. I was looking real corpsey earlier. <laughs> Fresh face, clean palette, now the fun stuff! So we have a couple eye things to play around with. All right, so we have a couple eyeshadow palettes. Wendy has this rosé in the air. Just the rosé in the air palette. Isn't that beautiful for fall? I used this is actually from the Halloween collection. <laughs> this is called Coffin Break, and I just loved these warm rounds. So this is what I used. So in addition to the palettes, we also have these multi-sticks, which are new, and these come in 13 different colors. We have three right here, um, and I actually scared Wendy. I'm gonna <laughs> play with this one today. And um, the nice thing is a couple of these shades are labeled as transition shades. I'm gonna use banana E shade yeah, like all over. Too. two transition shades in here and I'm gonna go in with this slightly cooler toned just to blend everything together how funny like the word transition is stamped into the yeah that's really interesting because I can't help myself, but. All right, so we're just gonna oh boy. smudge this in here. And then I'm just gonna blend it out a little bit. And I'm gonna smudge it in from there. Just brighten it. Um, this is a Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the color Sunset Striptease. Mm. And we're just gonna bronze things up do you typically use bronzer into fall I use bronzer year round do you mm -hmm. all right so we have two wet and wild eyebrow pencils the first is the retractable brow pencil which is what i used on my eyebrows and one of the things i love about this um is it has this angled tip which if you're someone that has to fill in a lot of eyebrow like i am it's great um the other that we have so when you found this in the color taupe which is Blonde, which is what I use. She also has the micro brow pencil, um, soft brown in the color soft brown, which this might be too dark. So let's try the taupe. Start light. All right, I've never done someone else's eyebrows. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, I think we're eyebrow done. Eye pencil. Ooh, I'm scared. This is eyeliner. what scares me a lot. All right. And these are a liquid eyeliner. Which I prefer. Oh, can you put them on? Oh, I put them on myself. <laughs> We're about to find out. So I use the Wet n Wild Felt Tip 
eyeliner in the color brown, mm. dark brown, um, because I just like a fine point liquid eyeliner just to make my eyelashes appear more full. I don't do an intense like wing. Um, That's what I need. That's what I need. Yeah. So we have the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. We have the traditional and dark brown, and then we have the metallic in Cosmic Black. I'm really curious. I know you're nervous. Let me just see what it looks like. So the Cosmic Black has some glitter in it. Oh boy. We might just go with the brown, just so when he <laughs> doesn't have a heart attack. And the brown is just a classic brown. Hands. Okay, here we go. Deep breath, don't move. I am not. <laughs> Close my eyes, I won't touch anything. All right, so what happened with the liquid eyeliner is that Wendy opened her eye too soon, my father should have warned her, and it got on her eyelid. I'm gonna show you a trick. Yes. Oh, no, this is, I have a hooded eye, so like I'm not surprised that it got on my eyelid. Maybe it wouldn't do that to everybody, you know? So yeah. my trick that works for mascara, and we're going to find out if it works for eyeliner. So on this side, it's just like a tiny little bit. You just take your spoolie. Does that hurt? Mm -hmm. You just take your spoolie over the... So it works if you get mascara on your eyelid, and it just flakes it away. It's gone. Now the other side is a little more intense. All right. So yeah, let's see. Right. Tell me if I'm hurting you. Not at all. It's gone! It's a miracle! Can I open my eyes? I, you should be able to, yes. All right, we're on the home stretch. Mascara, blush, lip color, bring it at home. Are you doing your own mascara? Because I'm really afraid of. I can try. We're going to try this guy. This is Wet n Wild Pearlescent Pink. A highlighter okay wet n wild mega glow highlighting powder in the color blossom glow pretty neat i used um a different color of this again everything that i used is linked down below this is a really pretty i was trying i did a really warm look on mine i'm trying to like do a slightly cooler slightly cooler look on wendy's um i just want you to see the glow of the highlighter whoa I mean. I love this highlight. Look at that! Look at that glow! We are using the Wet n Wild Mega Volume Mascara in the color Very Black. This is what I used too. And before they sent this to us, but I had actually purchased it. Um, and I picked this one because it has what? Real bristles. Ah, not plastic. Megan's favorite. All right, so this is. I like this packaging. The Wet n Wild Matte Black Packaging. Perfect Pout Lip Color. It's just like a tiny little lipstick. Yeah. Um, this is the color Ring Around the Rosie. Oh, I don't want to swatch your lipstick on my hand. Okay. Um, so we're just gonna we're just gonna do it. Do you want a gloss on top? Yeah, just a little bit. Okay. And like a center. All right. So Wendy picked up the liquid cat suit. High shine lipstick in the color Petal Poison. So we're just gonna do a little, oh, I think I wrote too much on it. Do a little bit of shine right in the center. And that, 37 minutes later, <laughs> is how you do it, folks. I am so much shorter than you. I know. Get so I need a booster seat. <laughs> It's a lot for a day. For Definitely, me. we were playing. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Full face, wet and wild. There's a link down below where you can get all of the products we used in this video. We also have a coupon code for 25% off your order. If you click the link below, where can you find wet and wild? Wetandwildbeauty.com, Ulta, food and drug stores throughout the land. <laughs> Folks, we hope you love wet and wild as much as we do, and we will see you in another video very soon. Bye.